For those of you who don't know, I'm from Sacramento, California, and I grew up in a very multicultural city. I grew up in the black neighborhood called Del Paso Heights, but Sacramento, once you leave my neighborhood, is very diverse. Even in the 90s, it was not uncommon to see a lot of interracial dating. And in fact, the city of Sacramento one year won the most interracial dating city in America. People jump into interracial relationships in Sacramento, not necessarily because they dislike their own race. They do it because it's convenient. It's a lot of people you work with from different places and it kind of has that culture. But Atlanta is not like that from what I understand. Atlanta is known to be one of the black meccas of the United States. Hand in hand with Washington DC, black Chicago, Jackson, Mississippi, Memphis, Tennessee, and Detroit. And also black Philadelphia. You can go sometimes maybe even days without seeing white people. But that isn't the case for Dee's Olivia Bish, who is from the great city of Atlanta. She is tired of dating black men. And in fact, she says all black men, no matter what their earnings are going to be this. Let's talk about these dusty ass. Okay. So when I say dusty, I don't mean tax bracket. Okay. All black men are dusty. It does not matter their tax bracket. Uh, Gabrielle Union is married to uh, Dwayne Wade and he makes millions of dollars and she still has to go 50 50 with his, even though he cheated on her and had a baby on her. That's right. All black men are in fact dusty, no matter how much money they make. And I talked about this on another video. She came after me saying that she was glad that, you know, black men like myself went to Africa. Hey y'all, what it is? So I was informed that O'Shea Dookie Jackson, the dude who used to be so obsessed with me and used to make every video about every time I went out on a date with a white dude, he was making a video about it. Like, bruh. Like, I was almost like the main, main character of his damn show, apparently. His dookie show, whatever the f Anywho, I found out, y'all, that he moved to Africa. And I hope a lot of black pe black males do this, okay? A lot, I hope you, a lot of you black males go back to Africa, to be quite honest with y'all, okay? A lot of black women will have to force themselves to divest and not date you. Okay, a lot of the black women that are on the fence and are scared to date outside their race... It would be more white zaddies for us, okay? If a bunch of go to Africa like O'Shea Dookie j just did, okay? I commend o o o O'Shea Dookie, okay? Thank you for going to Africa. Just thank you for moving over there. Like, I, you know. You fit right in with all the other ugly, facially challenged African males, okay? Uh, just, just go back. I just hope black males in america or just go back to africa and just leave that will leave us more white zaddies that will leave us more latino dudes more asians more more dudes that aren't okay that will leave us with more options as uh black women and i'm happy and plus you guys sold us off anyway you know you all sold us off to the big bad white man anyway that's right ugly dudes like me that are facially challenged we need to leave the united states so that black women like her could have access to more white zaddies. And so that's been the narrative. She hasn't dated black men for a long time. Now she's dating white men. But there was an issue that happened just last week before her 30th birthday. The new white guy she had wanted to go 50-50 on her birthday. He didn't want to pay for everything. So she gave this response. Hey y'all, what it is? Happy Easter. Probably won't post this on Easter, but girl, uh, yesterday was a shit show. Okay, the guy I've been in a relationship with for there for basically two months now. Um, you know, he's been paying for all of our dinners. He bought me a purse. He bought me flowers for Valentine's Day. He's been paying for everything and not complaining one bit. Okay, he has a nice house with a wine collection with a little gym in his house. He has a nice place. He drives an Audi. He has a good paying job. Unless he's lying about his good paying job. And uh, and we've been talking. I've been telling him since maybe our third or fourth date. I want to go on vacation for my birthday. I'll be turning 30 in July. He knows this. He's been knowing this ever since we first started dating. Okay. He's been knowing that I wanted to go on vacation to the beach. Didn't matter what beach. But a beach. Outside of Georgia. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. I did not want to celebrate my birthday in, in Atlanta. Period. Right. 
So, you know, I would show him places over the past few weeks. That's what I'm, I was doing. And he would be like, oh, that looks nice. I'm just brushing off. Like, he would just continue to watch TV or we'd continue to f around. And he would just, like, brush it off. But finally yesterday, I'm like, look, bro, we need to actually plan this because, you know, it's almost April. <laughs> basically, it's basically April. And um, the grades are going to get higher the more months we wait to plan this actual birthday trip thing. Okay? And guess what this mother... So I did find a place and I, you know, I, I showed it to him. Like, we were laying bed and I showed it to him. He's like, oh, that's a beautiful place. I, I, it's a good price, too. I, I like the price. Blah, blah. I'm like, okay, book it then. And I wasn't expecting anything else and okay babe because you know what let me run this back he's he said i don't want your money that's what he said before weeks ago when we first started you know and in the beginning of us dating he would say i don't want your money i'm finally paying for everything you, i don't need your money blah, blah 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 he said this before multiple times and like i said he's paid for everything with training until now so here's what this he said oh so do you got four hundred dollars on you i'm like what He's like, yeah, are you going to cash at me $400? I'm like, for what though? He's like, well, why can't we go have these? This is something you should tell a woman, in my humble opinion, um, the moment she starts talking about traveling. Mind you guys, I've talked about traveling with him since the third date. Okay? So he's known this since the beginning. And still proceeded to ask me to be his girlfriend. Still proceeded to keep dating me, paying for everything. Still proceeded to date me every week. So what... Now you want four hundred dollars, and I even asked him so, because I didn't send him no name four hundred dollars. I, I didn't get in my. Ca I'm, I thought about it for a split second. I'm like, thirtieth birthday. What are you doing? Your your, your your potential thirtieth birthday. What are you doing? Babe? And now that the guy has refused to pay, this is the outcome. Hey y'all, what it is? So I dumped this motherfucker. I dumped him. I don't care. Like, um, I know some people thought that, um. I was being entitled because me and him had only been dating for two months and I also got a lot of people who told me to drop his ass at the same time. So y'all, I, I took this week to talk to my therapist, my friends, my family about this guy to get confirmation in my head, should I dump him or not? And they gave me all the confirmation and when I met him last night, because me and him actually went out last night, I'm like, yeah, this is a nail in the coffin. I can't let me explain what happened. Let me here's the story time of what happened last night. So me and him went out to eat. And literally, he was like, Oh, so do you have the like four hundred dollars? I'm like, No, you had I mean, no, I didn't uh, he's like, Well, I thought you were gonna get it since you wanna go to the beach so bad. You know, I thought that was our plan. I'm like, look, um, I thought about it some more, and yes, I do want to go to the beach, but is you told me in the beginning of our relationship that you don't believe in 50-50 because y'all, he did say this, y'all. He said he did not believe in 50-50 relationships and he didn't want my money. I said, look, you said both of those things in like the third or fourth date of, date of us dating. You know what I mean? And he started saying, you know what? You know, the, the difference is, the difference is food. You know, when we're going out to eat and when I'm just buying you a random gift, that that's what I meant. Not big things like going on a vacation to the damn beach. That's what he told me. Then he starts to say, you are the one who wants to go to the beach and it's your birthday. I mean, I feel like it's your responsibility to pay. I'm like, look, I feel the complete opposite. Since it's going to be my birthday in July, it would be nice of my boyfriend to pay. It, it's not fair, in my opinion, that, that my boyfriend's going to ask me for half of my stay and half of the things that we do, like a, like the whole, basically, I'm paying for myself. That's why I said, I'm like, that's not fair to me. He's like, well, what, if you had a lot of guys pay for your your vacations and hotel trips? I'm like, yes. <laughs> He's like, well, that's ridiculous. Uh, you know, um, you just, you, you're, you're very sheltered, Olivia, it sounds like, with your parents and with other guys i'm like well yeah i was um and i do expect that and then he starts to say well you know i don't i don't care i could be madly in love with you and i'd still want you to pay for big things like like a vacation i'd still want you to pay for half of our wedding i mean i'm still gonna want you to pay half and when you if you live with me you know i don't care how in love i am i don't care. it's not about the timeline it's not about how i feel about you it's not about how special you are to me so yeah you know that's what i expect with any woman that i go on vacation with i'm like you've never been in love though anywho it just th this whole discourse was basically like I don't want to pay, Olivia. I don't want to pay. 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 It was like, it was like talking to an angry brick wall. It was like the most awkward ass dinner. People were looking at 
helped us and it was weird and I was like oh and I literally said look I get it you don't want to you don't want to take me on vacation I'm good I can find another way to go he's like oh you're gonna find one of those dudes that you, you used to talk to or, or, or something I'm like I might okay I might <laughs> this is not going anywhere so after I said this isn't going anywhere he said oh are you gonna let money ruin our relationship I'm like well money ruins marriages so why would it be different to ruin a two-month relationship he's like well i just feel like you're being a spoiled you're being spoiled and entitled to a vacation and um, i don't like that that's a turn off to me i said look so um you told me that you don't believe in 50 50 in the beginning and you also said you didn't want my money now you want my money he's like well for big things olivia for big things there's a difference uh you know you're looking at this very shallow you see she has broken up with this guy and she's even called him a no dusty that's interesting because this particular young lady has a lot of white men that she is broken up with that she calls snow dusties. Now, here's one thing that she doesn't figure out. There are no more black men involved in her life. She can't blame black men for any of the things that are occurring, not at all. But do you know what? She still has a problem getting the white men that she wants. She's dumping them. The girls are saying you need to find somebody else. Well, that was the whole reason that you're supposed to go over to the white men, right? You were going over to white men to find somebody else that wasn't a black dusty, as you would say. So that's the whole reason why you're doing it. But the reality happens to be this young lady. You are what you hang around. And I know a lot of y'all don't like that. And I know y'all are upset when I say it. But the truth is the light. We're not gonna sit here in front. It is the light. And the reality is for people who talk like her, the biggest issue is them. How are you gonna come after black men when you're the person having the problems? Ain't no black men there. It's like you trip over your phone one day and you fall down like, what happened to you? Black men trip me over, which has nothing to do with anything because black men are not tripping you over at all. Your ass is tripping your own self over. And so because of that, you're having issues, you're having problems. And look, you need to be an adult about it. I don't know if you can do that, but you need to be an adult about it and say, damn, I'm the reason why I'm not getting to where I'm getting and I don't need to blame anybody but my goddamn self. But it's okay, these receipts have spoken for you. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.